Hey there, enemies. Today we're insulting each other. And so begins my career in trash talking. Yes, the game that's all about insulting the other person. And I'm not talking about League of Legends. So I guess I'll be Dirty Potter. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't think I want to know why they call him that. I'm wanted, dead or alive. Did he just say he's wanted? <laughs> That's even more worrying. They're trying to be all wise here and all I can do is look at their spaghetti arms. <laughs> okay, so we gotta pick words to start off an insult. So I'm gonna start with and. What? <laughs> Learn grammar, but I'm good at this. Your last plastic surgery. How about that one? That's a good start. And then just go silent. <laughs> Mega Gojira, ride to the press about you. I don't even know what that means. Your last plastic surgery kind of resembles your dog but dogs are kind of cute though <laughs> oh, uh, sure your last plastic surgery kind of resembles your dog but <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with this should do a movie with what are you saying kevin smith's enormous jorts blackmailed your mentor what both of these don't make sense can i use and no i can't i don't know grammar wait can i use these two a strict judge wow that really works all right end your last plastic surgery kind of resembles your dog but should do a movie with a strict judge. Yeah, that'll show him. That was a good one. <laughs> it didn't even hurt. Well, at least your one didn't make sense either. Your therapist. <laughs> Gone right for the juggler with this one. Was in. Oh, I wanted to use that one. <laughs> your therapist was in the uglier Olsen twin. <laughs> I'm just going to pause for now. <laughs> My insults are weak. Your Beverly Hills mansion is a carbon copy of the uglier Olsen I mean, that's not really an insult. I have a Beverly Hills mansion in this reality. That's kind of a compliment. I don't think that would affect me at all. Your last therapist was in you. <laughs> yeah, and that's a good insult. <laughs> That'll show you. I just realized that I'm like a cross between Clint Eastwood, like Dirty Harry and Harry Potter. I understand now. Uh, he's... Dirty Harry, Dirty Potter. Yeah, I get it. I'm a bit slow on the uptake. Don't use that against me, though. Oh, your therapist came up again. I'm using that once more. Your therapist was in. I'll wait. I'll see what I can say next time. Your therapist was in. Your mentor. I'm more insulting your therapist specifically. I guess I'm just calling your therapist a slut and I'm not sure why. What's this line? Come back. Yeah, do a comeback. Oh, no. Your therapist was in your mentor, but a witch has got to know her limitations. Yeah, that's perfect. Great comeback. Ah, oh, classic. Your mom. And that's it. It's just your mom. Your mom. Yeah, that'll show them. <laughs> I've played against enough British kids on Call of Duty to know that is gonna tear her apart. <gasps> Anything about your therapist? Uh, I guess not. I'm gonna talk about Jimmy Fallon's phony laugh then. Here's a really good one. Wait, learn grammar? What are you talking about? That was a perfect insult. All right, so Jimmy Fallon's phony laugh is less powerful than your character and was in your last plastic surgery? I guess... I'll end it there. <laughs> Whatever that nonsensical rant was. I'm losing. <laughs> I'm losing bad. I think I gotta work on my trash talk. Hey, subscribe or else you... You are... You're... You're bad. Fuckface. Got him. Fat Chris Pratt and... I don't know why he's dragging Fat Chris Pratt into this. Why are you fat shaming Chris Pratt in the middle of all of this? Your ex. Okay, that is too far. That's too real, all right? What does that even mean? That just seems disgusting. What are you doing? Your character completed a pilgrimage with your financial portfolio. I can't believe you've said that. You've gone too far now and you've killed me. I just realized there was a cursed Dobby down there. Wait, I think we knocked each other out, though. <gasps> he who should not be named snorts nose candy with... <laughs> I don't think he has a nose to snort it with. Okay, I can use the rest. He who should not be named snorts nose candy with your sister, but your ex will never know true love. That's just kind of sad. All right, end it there, I guess. I don't know why I'm ripping their ex more than anyone. Okay, I don't know how you could survive that one, to be honest. An update is a carbon copy of your arch enemy. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Thank you. 
Thank you for your humility and defeat. Yes, I insulted someone because they were different to me and I won the battle. <laughs> oh God, who is this? I feel like they're even dirtier than Dirty Potter. I like how they're probably trying to shoot a movie over here and they're just insulting each other. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sweet. Miss you, my precious. I want one of those, except they would have a picture of Brendan Fraser. All right, here we go, greasy wizards. <laughs> Finally, the showdown between Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings we've all been asking for. Make Ryan's violent temper. Who is Meg Ryan and why are you bringing up her temper? That has nothing to do with me. How about this one? Your next movie is a perfect metaphor for a lucky punk and reeks of a locked chest of forbidden pleasures. I think he's got something else in his mind. Dirty Potter is right. Yes, I get to start with just you. This is gonna be way more effective. You have never manscaped. <laughs> he really is Dirty Potter. He can't get his mind out of the gutter and it's nothing to do with me. It's all him. Okay, now we're just <laughs> crossing the line into a magical hate speech and he's a wizard like he knows oh i forgot to, to i forgot to end it i just threw out something that is super hateful in their world and then just stopped gave up i mean your one didn't make sense either i don't understand why that hurt me uh, it wasn't much to be fair <gasps> your mom here we go your mom forwards racist emails you mudblood <laughs> your mom forwards racist emails and is the inspiration for your on-screen romance <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is a bit weird. <laughs> I'll go with that. It's probably better that you took this one, <laughs> I think. You essentially massage. <laughs> you see, you see what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna go with a fistful of every flavored beans. You essentially massage a fistful of every flavored beans and make the audience sick. And <laughs> just don't get. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold on that to see what I can find. That forgotten child star is less powerful than your life. Movie. I mean, that's a good thing, right? Like, I want my movie to be powerful and have an impact. You just complimented me. Just because you followed it with, put that in your pipe and smoke it doesn't make it an insult. Although, it did kind of work. <laughs> Feels kind of bad for some reason. I guess I'll put it in my pipe and smoke it. Holy run on sentences. Okay, I end with that one. You sensually massage a fistful of <laughs> The text is all messed up. The audience sick. And just don't get a locked chest of forbidden pleasures. And we're <laughs> It just keeps going. Your so called career. I like how I have to stuff the locked chest of forbidden tr pleasures in there somewhere. Wait, what? Hold on, that's a serious accusation, you fecker. That's it's not just an insult. Can I sue you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's stay away from this one anyway. I'm gonna talk about your dad instead. Oh, no, but you took it. Okay, below the belt is fine with you. Okay, I'm I'm willing to do that from now on. I'm going as far as I can. Your dad will be found and killed by Liam Neeson, by the way. I made a deal with him. I just told Liam Neeson that it's taken 11. And the actor who's playing your dad is really good, so just go along with it. Just kill him. He's in character, so he'll keep screaming for help. Ignore it. No, stop taking the ones I want. <laughs> Jesus Christ, put that away. What are you doing? Wait, are you calling your body a cursed slayer? <laughs> and look, if my mentor is into you and has a fetish for you, I'm happy for you both. Your dad has a tiny wand. Simple and effective. Okay, this is actually pretty brutal. Your dad has a tiny wand and your mom reeks of a three-headed dog's droppings. You muggle punk, I added on to the end. Oh god, that did a lot of damage. He's really sensitive about his dad's wand. Ah, stop embarrassing yourself. That's hardly even an insult. I'm glad medical science has gotten to the point where plastic surgery can play a part in a movie. When it comes to jewelry, I've always looked cuter in ankle bracelets. Jesus, you're feckin' kinky, aren't you? You must have loved that I kept bringing up that locked treasure chest of whatever. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Goodbye. Have fun with your precious. Who is next to be insulted? Oh god, what are you? Marilyn no more. What? <laughs> your dad went to rehab because of your last movie. <laughs> oh my god, that is pretty brutal. I'm gonna keep this going. Rubber swords. Devoted a journal entry to your sidekick. Like, are you having a stroke or something? None of this is making any sense. You just wiped my insult out somehow. With oh no, you didn't. I'm still here ready to go. Kim Kardashian's Spicy home video makes me think about your face. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, Marilyn, no more. Your dad went to rehab because of your last movie and had a steamy makeout scene with your ex, <laughs> but was written and directed by your dog. Is that just trying to get the dog in there? Like your dog betrayed you or what? It was a big hit anyway. <laughs> I'm just choosing everything I can. Anything that just makes grammatical sense now, I'm stuffing in there. Oh, they don't like age and beauty insults. Okay. 
Okay, I'll target that then. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> this is just kind of sad. <laughs> She's not making any sense. She doesn't even know how to end it. She's all over the place. It did zero damage. <laughs> Her nonsensical rambles. All right, the commander in chief and your sister had an affair with a stain ridden casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is gonna destroy her. I really don't like this animation that she's got going on. I really don't. Wait, has he forgotten my insult? I forgot my lines. For fact's sake, it was gonna be a good one. It was talking about stains. I'm going with the ones that don't make sense because she's just talking nonsense, so maybe it makes sense to her. Yeah, that really affected her. <laughs> maybe she's just confused. Your dad turns out to be your ex, and your favorite director <laughs> is a James Bond. No. That's such a weird sentence. I was gonna just leave it at your dad turns out to be your ex and your favorite director, which is a kind of a weird sentence. <laughs> but I was just gonna leave it there. Okay, we need to hit her hard here to win the battle. Your dad and Hans Zimmer's epic score. Why, where are you going with that? Okay, again, there's just a lot of hate coming out here, but end on this one. Your dad and Hans Zimmer's epic score tweeted angrily about your so-called career. What do you mean? They, they tweeted together? And like, not Hans Zimmer directly, but his music? Yeah, I think I'm just being hateful. I don't think this is really insulting, but it got her good. All right, let's do one more, and this time I'm going for the kill. <laughs> I'm gonna be ruthless. This guy's name is just Grown. He who should not be named. Yes, I like this one. And now I'm just insulting the Dark Lord himself, and this doesn't really impact you at all, but yeah, go with that one. Oh, that got him good for some reason. I think he just didn't quite understand it, which makes sense as I don't understand his. And so I continue my fight for freedom. <laughs> Like, okay, good for you. Why don't you go fight for freedom instead of insulting me? This is the most creative way of saying your mom eats shit that I have ever seen. And your financial portfolio angered the gods. That's quite an extreme and also fitting insult. It sounds like something I would have said in front of a massive arena of people. Your financial portfolio has angered the gods. <laughs> I like his little ow <laughs> when he gets hurt. Your adopted kids. Yeah, let's go for that. Your adopted kids and your mom. We're going all in. No, I wanted that one. <laughs> all right, let's go to went to rehab because of. Because I feel like that's the most real. Like, that is actually too far. <laughs> your adopted kids and your mom went to rehab because of Kevin Smith's enormous joy. I don't know why we keep picking on Kevin Smith. Down from the three headed dog strappings. And that's just swell. <laughs> He's happy for you, and that killed you. But hey, that's just swell. Oh my god, his mouth. Can't do a single bench press. Jesus Christ, that killed me. Simply mentioning that I couldn't lift on a bench press destroyed me. My weak masculinity. I'm going for a really long one. I somehow managed to string some stuff together, even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The longer insult usually wins. Your face and a filthy mud blood smell like mothballs. And your adopted kids had an affair with a failed video game. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it better hurt you. I just keep bringing up his adopted children. Well, that's okay. Okay, I'll do him a favor. I'm fine with that. He's my favorite director. I'm okay with that. Turns out words can sting way worse than a sword. And that, good sir, is the smartest thing you've ever said. Yay! They're in agreement that we should just use swords next time and kill each other. At least it would save me using hate speech like, you know, mud blood and talking about his adopted children that way. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I gave him a fright when I backed out of the menu. All right, well, that is all my toxicity gone. Oh, now I don't even need to play, like, um, online multiplayer games. It's just all gone. It's a perfect release. No one suffered except for the AI, which is probably plotting a comeback. I'm going to turn my computer off now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my insults. Uh, if you did, be sure to stick around, subscribe. I can insult you all you want in the comments. I'm more than willing to. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.